I'm James, I'm an electrician, as you all know, as you all know, and it also tells you up there. So um, I've been sort of, um, sort of trading as, a, as, a, as an electrician for the last kind of four years, really. Um, and I'm part P registered. So what's important to us is customer service is extremely important to us. I make sure that um, when we come to your house, we always put down sort of clean cloths, that we don't put tools to sort of down on your on your floors, that we make sure that the, that things are done to um, a good standard. Also, make sure things are done um, where it's in the quote that we gave you as well. So, what do we do? We do electrics. Surprisingly. We also do smart security alarms, video intercom, CCTV, and gate automation, and home automation. So from the electrics sort of point of view, what we do is we specialise, I think I said it earlier on, we specialise in sort of changing your old fuse box to a brand new consumer unit that makes your house more safer. That means if if a wire sort of touched um, any of your pipes, instead of them becoming live and you touch them and then getting electrocuted, that means your your fuse box or your consumer box will will shut off. It will close down. It will trip. And it, also, if you touch a live wire, that live wire it, it will know that you are about to be electrocuted, and and it will cut off faster than you'll be electrocuted. You'll get a slight shock, but you won't get a, you know, a, a, a huge shock from it. We also do minor major repairs. We also do sort of kitchen and bathroom <coughs> with refurbishment. And also do um, some rewires. I've just done a rewire on a bungalow that was just finished last week. And the client's extremely happy. He's got some more work for me to do now. So, yeah, it's all going well. Also do quite a lot of outside work. Um, it's quite an art form, sort of doing outside work. We've, uh, I'm just work, I'm just working for a doctor at the moment. He's got um, um, a huge house, great big garden. He's, he's had a lot of electrics done out inside his garden, but the guy who's done them hasn't done them properly, so they're all lit. So he's, he, you know, when we're opening up the junction boxes, we're sort of pouring out water. So um, that kind of thing needs to be done. It's like a plumbing job, it's like Alan's job really, you know, you've got to make sure that it, it's sealed, that water can't get in instead of Alan's job, water can't get out. So that, we do a lot of that now, um, and so, you know, if you want all your sort of gardens lit up, trees lit up, or driveways lit up, we actually put lights in the driveway, so you know if you want sort of lights in the driveway, they can come on as you come in to, into the driveway, or, or they can come on as you come out of the house. Why choose a qualified electrician? Well, um, again, we um, we have to align in line with the building regulations. So, so, so by law, we have to go on courses every year. We have to make sure that we understand all the building regulations. Um, we also sort of test all your circuits, make sure that they're all safe. And we've also issued with a certificate, so it's been done by a qualified electrician, and um, we will test the results. And safety comes first. So it's all about safety in your own house. You know, it's just, just making sure that your house is safe. And I went to um, a house not so long ago that um, I was doing some work in the house, and the lady said to me, You can check my, my radiator. Well, you know, not um, I said, No, no, every time we're, we touch it, we get a slight sort of tingling feeling from it. Anyway, the kids were playing around it because they had a pen there and they were playing around the radiator, so I got my sort of tested down. Test the radiator, and it had 240 volts going through this radiator. 240 volts. And then the only reason they didn't get electrocuted because of the paint. So the kids were playing out, so I moved the kids away pretty properly. And, we, um, and what happened there was a plumber. So it said plumbers come in and they, uh, and they put down all their kind of pipe and all their hot pipe. <laughs> Except for Alan, of course. Um, put down all their hot pipe in, and um, it, next to a um, a piece of wire and it burns that piece of wire out and of course that live wire then touches your your pipes and then everything in your house all your 
all the pipes and taps and everything like that become live. Now, if you had a brand new consumer unit, that wouldn't happen, but you cut it out instantly. So that's uh, <coughs> usually worth having done. So what we also do, we also do smart security alarms. Now, these are alarms that will communicate with you. So if they go off, so if, you know, if you've got an intruder, it will phone you saying that your alarm's gone off. The other things you can do is, is you can also integrate your smoke and panic alarms into that. So you know, if you've got a smoke alarm or CO2 alarm, if that goes off in your house and you're not at home, it will go off all day. Uh, and your house can burn down or you know, anything can happen. But with the smart security alarms, you can have it call you so that your smoke alarm's gone off. We also do the door viewing app and, and access control. So we do um, we, we do intercom systems. So we do we play, uh, video intercom systems. Um, we do quite a lot of this when we do gates. We do a lot of, of electric gates. Um, at the moment, I work with a guy who who makes with the gates, and um, we do quite a lot of intercom systems there, so they can open the gates automatically. So the home automation part of it is, that it is a part that I quite enjoy. And what, and what qualifies me to do home automation is, is that I spent 15 years in IT. So I know all about the IT side, laying all the cables, all the IP addresses. Um, I know about, um, I'm an electrician, so I can sort of integrate the IT side with the electrical side. So then we have, we have the security, so you can you can view your. It just puts you more in control of your house, basically. So you can view your security from anywhere in the world. So in a, if an alarm goes off, you can sort of pick up your iPhone or your iPad and view your house. You can you know you can hook up to your CCTV and find out what's going on in your house. Or if someone can't get in your house, so that your mum comes to the front door. And, and you're out, she can call you, or she, or she can press the bell, it'll come up on your iPhone and say, oh, your mum's there, and you can let your mum automatically in using home automation. So I spoke about CCTV. Again, if CCTV picks up something that you want to know about, you can have that sort of contact you. Access control is quite interesting. Well, I mean, sometimes you don't want people going in, say, your office, you can have your, your office always locked. So when you come in the house, it can unlock. Um, and also, if you've got a lucky pool in say, let's just say you had a swimming pool in your house. You don't want your kids coming from school and going into that pool. You want it all locked up, all made sure. And if that door's been left open, it can, it, it can sort of contact you again and tell you that that, that door's left open, um, or it can automatically close it. Yeah, energy management. So um, energy management is it can control your heating, it can control your lights, it can turn down your lights, it can make sure that if lights are, are turned on for a long period and there's no one in the house, it can turn them off. Uh, <coughs> also at night before you go to bed, you can just press one button and that can shut down all your all your heating or turn down your heating, turn off all your lights downstairs, set your alarm. Um, also, also turn off all your music centres in just one button. So nothing gets left on that you don't want left on. Lighting automation. You can create moods. You can create all sorts of moods with lighting. So um, I, when you enter, enter the house, you can have your lights set to the way you want them. So you can only have certain lights. You can have lights that, that only come at the night time. So, so as you get up sort of during the night, you want to go and you want you know you want to walk downstairs. Those lights can come on automatically. Just some little, little LED lights, that are not too bright, that can lead you down the stairs safely into your kitchen. So, and entertainment, entertainment automation. Um, so basically, you can you can have music all streamed all throughout your house. Every room in your house, you can have it in your toilet, if you like sort of, sort of music in the toilet, so you open up the door, the lights come on, and some nice calming music takes you out <laughs> past the uh, toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the, 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 
the kind of interfaces you can install that we can install for you is kind of sort of touch screen. So you can have like an iPad integrated into the wall and you can use that and in a sort of console there's there's some um, sort of keypads and everything. I think I'm pretty much done. And remote access, like I say, you can you can have remote access from anywhere in the world to control anything from your house. I've got a question, Dan. Okay. You know you said about if the uh, wire touched the pipe in the bathroom and then the, uh, the, the, everything would trip out, how would you subsequently find where the problem was? How would you find it? Uh, I mean, we've got that sort of test equipment, so what we do is we go around um, and we do a test, we do a test that we can fire 500 volts down your wiring system, yeah? And if it's, if it's touching anything, it knows about that. So, you know, if it's been sort of taken off, if it doesn't come back with 500 volts, that means there's a, that part of the wire has got a problem in it. So, so it basically. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Um, costs. There's like, things like the new machine unit and the fire alarm that you yeah, the, the, going on. Where do you go to get costs? Do you have any references for it? Um, I don't. I mean, you can ask me, but I mean, I mean the sort of typical sort of consumer unit, uh, for like a one bedroom house, you're looking at about sort of 300. Uh, for larger houses, they've got to 400, and it can go anything up to like 750, really, to change consumer, you know, to change all piece. What to, that's for fitting it as well. That's for, that's for fitting it, um, you know, the whole lot, yeah. Okay. You, just, just, sorry. Um, you mentioned uh, about remote access. Can you install that for the central heating systems? Yes, okay. absolutely. Do you supply power? And, uh, do you supply the power and obviously transformers to things like door locks, uh, mag locks, yes. that kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do all that. Yeah, mag locks. We do a lot of that. Yeah. You mentioned iPhones and iPods, but is it any phone? Yeah. Yes, you can. Any smartphone, really. Yeah, yeah. I mainly like the smart iPads because because it's easy to access. But you know, all you do is you download you download an app onto your phone, and and then you can control from one app. Anything in your house. I mean, at the moment, we've got lots of other kind of, sort of products out there. I think you've heard of something called Hi 